Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning to everyone. So, in this video, we will discuss on Fourier transform pair. Okay, so in the previous video, we used definition of Fourier transform okay, to transform uh, a signal in time domain into a frequency domain. Now, we, we have the second method to do so where we can use Fourier transform pair okay so if you look into this table okay so you have xt which is this referring to your signal in time domain and then x omega is referring to the corresponding Fourier transform of our signal xt okay which is this one okay so for example over here i give you example so, if you have xt, signal xt is delta t and then Fourier transform for uh, delta t will be equal to 1. Okay, this is Fourier transform for our signal delta t. Okay, so if you have a signal uh, xt equal to 1, so our Fourier transform for our signal which is equal to 1 is 2 pi multiply with delta delta omega okay so same goes to other uh, signal for example over here you have u t minus tau minus u t plus tau okay and then you will have this one okay Okay, which is this is a type of a rectangular signal okay so this one will give you in Fourier transform 2 sin omega tau divided by tau by omega where tau is depending on your value on the signal and then if you have uh, t which is modulus t so you have negative 2 omega squared which is the Fourier transform for this signal and then if you have exponential e a t u t okay and then the Fourier transform will be this one okay 1 over a plus j omega and then if you have e a t u negative t so this will be the Fourier transform okay and so on okay so we have over here t and e a t negative e a t u t this will be the Fourier transform n factorial a plus j omega power of n plus 1 okay so you can have over here also the other signal okay so you can take a look of this one okay okay and then the question is that how you want to use this Fourier transform pair so that we can transform signal in time domain into a frequency domain that is the main the most important thing so let's do few example on how we can use this Fourier transform pair to convert uh, a signal in time domain into a frequency domain. Okay, so let's do the first uh, example. Okay, for example, you have uh, your signal is okay xt equal to 2 delta t okay what will be the Fourier transform for our signal xt what will be the Fourier transform for our signal xt which is 2 delta t so we if we refer to the Fourier transform pair so you must uh, choose this one where delta t and then you have the Fourier transform is equal to 2, 1. Okay, so this one will be 2 multiplied with 1. So our x omega will be equal to 2. Right? Because our delta t, the Fourier transform is equal to 1. Okay, let's do the next question. Okay, so we have B equal to, okay, 
e negative 2 t ut okay, which is this is referring to xt e negative e8 e negative e negative 2 t ut so what be be the Fourier transform for our signal see so of course in, in we want to do when we do Fourier transform we want to find x omega so the x omega will be equal to okay so you need to check the Fourier transform pair so which one you need to choose or which one you need to select of course, if you look over here, the signal E negative 2 T U T, so it must be exponential signal. So you must select either this one or this one or this one. Okay. So this one will be uh, similar to this one. So we will use this uh, prop, uh, Fourier transform pair okay, to get our uh, Fourier transform for this signal. So E negative 2 T, so meaning that this will be the a will be equal to 2 okay so in this case okay our value of a will be equal to 2 if you refer to this trans transform Fourier transform pair so because of that our x omega will be equal to 1 over 1 over which is our a is equal to 2 so 2 plus j omega okay all right okay so let's do the, uh, the other equation okay for example you have xt equal to e for e negative for t ut okay this is our signal okay so what will be the x omega what will be the x omega okay so in this case we need we have four so you have four and then we have Fourier transform of e negative 40 ut okay so if you refer back to the Fourier transform pair of course you need to use this one so this will be equal to 4 where your a now is equal to 4 for this case okay so this one over here our a is equal to 4 so for that reason our Fourier transform for this signal will be 4 multiply with 1 over a is equal to 4 so 4 plus j omega Alright, so let's do the next uh, question. So you have uh, question D. Okay, another example. So if you have T squared, okay, E negative 4 T U T. Okay, so this is X T. Okay, what will be uh, our Fourier transform for this signal? Okay, so you have, you need to find what is x omega equal to what. So we need to check our Fourier transform pair. So which one will be, we need to choose. Okay, so if you look, this signal similar to this signal. Tn e negative a t u t. So the Fourier transform for this signal will be n factorial a plus j omega n plus 1. Okay, so I just write down first, okay, the Fourier transform pair. So you have, if you have t n, okay, e negative a t u t, okay, so this will give you the Fourier transform which is n factorial over a plus j omega n plus 1 okay this is the Fourier transform so we can use this okay to transform our signal where n equal to 2 for this case so we will have uh, 2 factorial divided by uh, a is this one okay 
Okay, so if you look here, your n is equal to 2, and then your a is equal to 4. Okay, so you have 2 factorial. Okay, so 2 factorial, uh, and then 4 plus j omega. Okay, n plus 1 will be 2 plus 1. Okay, so this will be 2 factorial <coughs> will be equal to 2. So you have 2 divided by 4 plus j omega power of 3. So this will be our Fourier transform for this signal. Okay, so let's do uh, the, the next uh, question or the next example. Okay. Okay, so if you have, okay, so if you have uh, E negative J omega naught T, when we multiply it with 3, so what would be our Fourier transform for this signal? So we can represent XT uh, 3 E negative uh, J omega naught T as XT. So we want to find our x omega. Okay, we be three Fourier transform of e negative j omega naught t. So if you refer to the the Fourier transform pair, so this will be equal to this one, e negative j omega naught t, which is the Fourier transform for this signal will be equal to 2 pi delta omega minus omega naught. So we can write our Fourier transform for our signal will be 3 okay, multiply with 2 pi delta omega minus omega naught. Okay, this will give us 6 pi delta omega minus omega naught. Okay, alright. Okay, so the next question will be, okay, so you have, for example, uh, 4 rect t. Okay, so what, what will be the Fourier transform for this signal? So we can represent uh, xt, okay, as 4 rect t. Okay, we represent our signal as xt, and then of course Fourier transform for xt will be x omega. This will give us, okay, if we refer to Fourier transform pair, our signal is rect t, so we need to use this Fourier transform pair. Okay, so we can do this. So you have four, and then we want to find Fourier transform for rect t. This will give us 4 and then further transform for rect t will be equal to sin omega. Okay, so we have sin omega. Okay, so we do the last example. Okay, so we have g. Okay, so if we have e negative 2t sine 2 pi t ut okay so what will be our fourier uh, transform for this signal okay so we can represent it as xt okay so we want to find actually x capital X omega, which is Fourier transform for our XT. Okay, so we need to check, okay, this signal, okay, which which one similar to our transform, Fourier transform pair. So if you look this one, we have E negative 2T sin 2 pi T. So this will be equal to this Fourier transform pair. So this is uh, the signal, and then the Fourier will be equal to this one. So for this case, okay, so our A value is referring to this one, okay, which is equal to 
2. Okay, so A equal to 2. And then omega naught will be equal to this one, which is this one. So omega naught is equal to 2 pi for our case. So we can use the Fourier transform pair. So we will have for Fourier transform of xt will be equal to omega naught is equal to 2 pi. Okay, over, okay, A is equal to 2. So 2 plus j omega power of 2. And then plus 2 pi, and then you must square it. Okay, so this is the Fourier transform for our signal E negative 2t sin 2 pi ut. Right? So, okay, let's do the last question. Okay, so we have H over here. We have for example, 2 e negative a t. Okay, so what will be the Fourier transform for 2 e negative a t? Of course, we can represent this one. Okay, as x t equal to 2 e negative. Uh, this one, I choose uh, 4. Okay, so negative 4. T. Okay, so our Fourier transform will be x omega for this signal. Okay, so if we refer to Fourier transform pair, so we need to use this one. Okay, so this will be equal to 2 Fourier transform for E negative for T. Okay, this will give us 2. Okay, which is A is equal to 2, A equal to 4. So, you have 2 multiplied with 4. Okay, divided by 4 squared. Okay, plus omega squared. Okay, which is this one will be equal to 8 divided by 4 squared plus omega squared. So, this is our Fourier transform for our signal 2 E negative 4 modulus. Uh, t. Okay, so it's much easier okay, to transform any signal in time domain into frequency domain using our Fourier transform pair compared to using definition of Fourier transform. So this means that okay, you have two methods of uh, you can use to transform any signal in time domain into frequency domain which is the first one. Okay, we use definition of Fourier transform. And then now, okay, in this video, which is the second method, we use Fourier transform pair, which is much more easier compared to the first method using definition of Fourier, Fourier transform. So hopefully you, you can understand uh, on how to use uh, this Fourier transform pair to convert your signal into uh, from time domain into frequency domain. Okay, thank you for watching. Okay, and then see you again in the next video and bye.